Well, hello there, motherfuckers, and welcome to the Raw Preview. What the fuck is going to happen tonight after such an awesome WrestleMania? I don't think I've ever been this excited before to watch Raw. I mean, it's been years since I've been this excited to see what's going to happen. I mean, Sting is pretty much confirmed to be there. At least they said this about a month ago. Talk is sort of quieted down about it, but, you know, he's supposed to be there. Um, you know, if Sting is there, this could be just automatically an epic uh, Raw, a memorable one at the very least. Also, you know that Alexander Rusev is going to be there, and they're going to give that guy a giant fucking push. No, I don't see what the point is about this. You know, last night was such an epic year. You don't even need anybody like that to come in. If they're going to get somebody, they could get somebody like Sami Zayn to come in. They don't need another fucking goofball like Alexander Rusev. We don't need another big guy that's, you know, boring with promos. No, we, we have quite a bit enough of that. I have enough people that have problems cutting entertaining promos. We don't need another straight-faced power guy. <laughs> we already got Batista. <laughs> well, um, you know, so there isn't really a point to that. I'm not really looking forward to that guy's debut, but, you know, it hasn't been confirmed. But, you know, what are time? WrestleMania. Uh, they're going to have them, you know, the night after WrestleMania. That's the night when they always start. You know, debuting people. Um, also, Rob Van Dam is also confirmed to be there. You know, I'm also looking forward to that. It's been a while since we've seen Rob Van Dam. A good seven months, six, seven months without Van Dam. I'm very excited uh, about that. You know, maybe he'll have a match. You know, <laughs> bring him out. At the start of the show, maybe have a match, you know, in the main event. It, it, would, it would be pretty good, you know. Rob Van Dam, maybe tagging with Daniel Bryan in certain, like, main events. The next couple of weeks could build a lot of intrigue. You know, one thing that I'm, I'm not looking forward to, though, this is what I said, even though Daniel Bryan has won the title, and I'm very excited about this, I want to hear his promo. I want to hear what he's got to say about winning the title, but you know that Orton and Batista are not going to go away. And now that Cena has pretty much ended his feud with Bray Wyatt, you know that, you know, these are going to be Brian's challengers. I, you know, I'm not excited about this. I, you know, it would be pretty epic, though, to see Brock Lesnar challenge Brian. You know, maybe they could get a, around Orton and, you know, Batista and Cena for a couple of months, maybe a month at the very least, and just have, you know, Brian and Brock, maybe that extreme rules. It could be a good match. And, you know, about the streak, we're obviously going to hear a promo from Paul Heyman talking about the streak. I don't know if Brock is going to be there, but he should. I, I really think, though, now would be a good time. He beat the streak, get him in the title picture, you know. You have a lot of fucking people whining and complaining. He's a part-timer, why'd he beat Taker, you know. And I also want to do a little rant here. Maybe I'll save that for another video. But people complaining about the streak are just fucking nimrods. You know, it, it's about time the streak ended. It was a legendary thing, but, you know, it was also a great moment when it ended. Do that in a different video, though. It, you know, so anyway, I'm excited to hear that. I hope, I hope, though, you know, they build off of that win, you know, that ending of the streak, and they just have Brock Lesnar, you know, even though he's a part-timer, get him involved in the main events for a little bit. Um... So, yeah, I mean, this show seems pretty promising. Sting, RVD, you know, what's going to happen next for Daniel Bryan. Um, could give a shit less about Alexander Rusev. 
Um, you know, so, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, what the fuck is going to happen? This is a very exciting time to be a wrestling fan. He just had one really good event, and it wasn't just any event. It was WrestleMania 30. You know, there's going to be a lot of big changes now. You know, there's not going to be any more, you know, um, streak. So, you know, when WrestleMania rolls around, we won't get the streak. Daniel Bryan is the champion, and he really is the champion this time. No bait and switches. He's the champ. So, you know, that right there, it, it means that this is the beginning of a new era, or sort of, you know, at least... Things are shifting a bit. There's a lot of changes. They made a lot of changes last night. They they pleased the fans. They brought back Austin. They brought in The Rock. They gave us memorable moments. Um, you know, the only thing that they didn't change was Cena. But, you know, we can't get everything we want. You know, like the Rolling Stones say... You know, you can't always get what you want, but we got most of it, motherfuckers. We got most of it. And that makes me happy. All right, uh, so, you know, what, seriously, what is going to occur tonight is what I want to know. You know, they've got, a, they've got a lot of shit to build on. They have a lot of material to work with. You know, they did a lot at Mania, and I hope that they continue this trend. Positivity. That's the key word, motherfucker. All right.